XML completed. Remember that when these methods are connected to event listeners, they have to have the same type of event as a listener itself. So let's create a parameter which is of the event type. OK. Does not return any values. OK. Naturally, our XML file is composed of barely seven lines of code. Therefore, it's not going to take very long for Flash to load that. But in certain cases, it is possible to have external documents, such as XML and so on, that could weigh maybe 10 to 15 megabytes. And this whole process then becomes very, very important because Flash has to know at what point it has completed the download or the loading of that document so as to be able to use the data that is contained within it. OK, everything fine. I'm going to get this load XML to load now. So I'm going to write that now, load XML dot. From this list, I'm going to select the load method. OK. What should I load? I should load this request XML. So now the circle is complete. When I save it and run it, no errors. Everything runs fine. Basically, Flash imports the packages that it requires to be able to read the external XML document. There, there and there, it creates the link between my Flash file and my external XML document through a local variable that on the fly loads this document. The loading itself is done here thanks to a new URL loader that we create here. 